Hey Scorpio, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Here with your monthly love scope for the month of September 2021. Let's see what's going on. Now remember Scorpio, I'm still doing a contest as I do every month. Every month that I record anyway. Well from this month on you're going to see me recording often. Like I always do, okay? Well like I used to anyway. But I had some things that went on this summer that I just I couldn't, I couldn't speak through. Literally. Okay, so anyway, um, whoever gets the most amount of views for the month of September, I'm going to choose two free winners of one hour. All you have to do is share the video across all your social media. Um, and in the comment section, you need to write why you feel you deserve that one hour free reading. All right, you don't have to tell all your business. Just tell me why you feel I should look towards you. Okay? All right, so let's see what's going down. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Scorpio? Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of September 2021. Sorry, y'all got something in the eye. Give me Scorpio. Oh my goodness. I have the longest lashes in the world. I can't imagine wearing lashes because my lashes are so long. They be in my eyeballs and shit. I bless them. All right, give me Scorpio. Come on. Sun, Moon, and Rising. September. Okay. Here we go, Scorpio. Right. First card out, we have Ace of Swords. The Will of Fortune. Three of Swords. Under the Ace of Swords, we have the Four of Cups. Under the Wheel of Fortune is the Seven of Wands. Under the Three of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. Under the Four of Cups is the Emperor. Under the Seven of Wands is Temperance. And under the Queen of Pentacles is the Hangman. The overall energy for my Scorpios for the month of September. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Alright. So this doesn't look like too bad of a reading. Alright. All right, so when I look at this, and I had to pause and look at it for a second, because there's a language that the cards speak when they're laid together. And I, I try to pick up every message I can get from a particular layout. This reading speaks as if I am looking at a Scorpio who is in a relationship and have been for some, very, you know, for some time, a very long time at that. Um, it doesn't have to be a very long time. I mean, it could be a few months, all right? But the way this reads is sort of like uh, jumping out of one situation and getting into another, but not getting away from that one lesson. So you know what I mean when I say the lesson stays the same. The people may change, but the lesson stays the same. So it feels like you've been going through this particular lesson of communication for a long time, all right? Um You don't want to be the one to give up. Like, you, you don't want to give up on your relationship and just let it go. But you're frustrated with not being able to uh, communicate your truths. Like, you're, you're trying to communicate with this person. You're trying to get them to understand you. But then they won't let you in. There's kind of like a struggle. It's like saying, we've been together for some time. And the person doesn't want you to leave them. They want to be able to work it out. But then when you try to go to work it out, they don't want <laughs> they don't they don't want to give it a try, really. All right. So <clears throat> they're coming at you with the wall up. So you can't penetrate and you can't get down to that thing that's causing a problem within your relationship. That's what I'm feeling very strongly. Okay. This person could be a Virgo, it could be a Taurus doesn't necessarily have to be it could just be a new beginning or trying to start a new beginning with someone i think that 
uh, Scorpio, I think your partner is the one that's causing problems. All right. Or it could be you. It, it definitely could with this four of cups. It could be that you don't want to give this person a second chance. All right. You're over it. But then this person begs you to give it another chance. Y'all have really have something good. You know, uh, let's talk through it. Let's work through it. And you're just like, listen, I'm done to death on a situation. You don't listen. I mean, I tell you what bothers me. And then you turn around, you say you're going to change and you do the shit again. I, I can't keep doing that. I can't keep doing that to myself. Scorpio, I think that you're having a problem with your baby's father or uh, your new husband or, you know, uh, something like that. You're having problems with your new partnership, but this person is not going to just be a boyfriend. I feel like they're going to be like a husband or uh, a father figure of your child. Maybe you just had a child by this person, something like that. Okay. Um, and they are not compromisable. They're not. They don't compromise. They say they're going to work through it, temperance being here. But then... Is pointless because if both of you are not on the same page or both of you are not willing to listen to the other and work on your individual problems that you lack that makes the relationship impossible to move forward and guess what it's really a waste of time so with the Knight of Wands being the overall energy I feel like uh, this person could be running a lot Scorpio this person could be in the streets a lot you know uh, they say they want to work through it with you especially if you're a woman if you're a woman and you're Scorpio and your baby's father happens to be any other sign, it could be a, this is fire sign energy. So even if they're not a sun fire sign, so they may not be Leo Sagittarius, okay, that, but that's the drive that's pushing them. So that could be their rising sign. Maybe they're a water sign like you, um, because this type of energy is what I see with water sign energy, you know, like they say they want to work through some shit, but then they're really closed. They don't want to open up to you. Okay. Um, for a small select few of you, it could be Virgo, Taurus. I, I doubt it. Maybe it's Taurus. But like I said, the driving force that's pushing them is that fire energy on the back end, meaning their uh, rising sign or ascendant. All right. Um, advice for you. What I would give you is, see, this three of swords is here. And this, this represents a lot of damage and a lot of heartbreak that you guys went through. Um, a lot of things that they put you through. And you're trying to look past that and give them a chance and and I feel Scorpio you've even changed who you are this could even be you Scorpio like I've changed everything about myself to make myself more desirable to you or you know to 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 be a better woman to you or a better husband to you and it's still not enough you're not giving me a chance to I feel like they're not giving you a chance with the saying man this is pointless I'm gonna tell you this Scorpio the greatest lesson that you could ever teach anyone, okay? Even though this may scare you. I wish we was on a personal reading because I hate to give up this information, but this works, okay? But the greatest lesson you could ever teach someone is to walk away. Although it seems like, oh my God, I can't imagine that. I, I get sick to my stomach just thinking about walking away from this person. But I promise you, if it is meant to be, um, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, you will beat this until it's <laughs> listen you'll beat it until you, it's blue in the face like it, it won't change that way so the only way that you're really going to change it is to take their life support away so Scorpio you might be the type of woman or man that is very caring you take care of the bills you take care you might even be taking care of them financially um, they may be living off of you living off your legacy if you rip that from them and then they're out here on their own and they're struggling. Guess what? They're going to get their shit together. Okay? But just staying in it and making yourself very sick and depressed. Because I feel like, Scorpio, you're you're very sick and depressed over the situation. Because you can't seem to fix it. And when you do try to sit down and fix it, this motherfucker go running again. It's just going to make you sick. Especially those of you that maybe just had a baby. Maybe you could be pregnant. With this emperor being here. Some of you are pregnant right now and you feel like, oh my God, it's just, I can't believe I got myself into this situation. I feel like it's again because that figure eight, the lemonescent on that temperance. So this could be you had, you recently had a small child. You got a small kid, you know, like um, younger than two and then you're pregnant again. And maybe originally you thought that having children would make this person happier, but it didn't. It, it shit. It really didn't. It, it made them more stressed, more. 
more um, aggravated. I'm going to tell you this, Scorpio. This is not your problem. This, you know, trying to fix who this person is, who this man is, who this woman is, that's not your problem. This is something that took place in childhood, you know, like um, with their own mother and father. So stop it. Stop it. Let it go. Okay? Let it go. Even though you feel like you're going to lose, you just need to put your foot down and look like, listen, I'm the fuck done. <laughs> With that Ace of Swords being there, I'm done. That's the only way you're going to get this person to change. Because they're not very compromisable. Especially with that Seven of Wands being right in the middle. They're going to stand their ground regardless. Doesn't matter what you say. So, this is going to take action. I'm going to tell you to back up from the situation for some time. If, you, if you're struggling with that, book a personal reading. Hit me up, allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Um, yeah, hit me up. I don't have any specials going for Scorpio right now because we just got out of our vertex. But um, it's worth it. It's worth it to get a reading if you're struggling with your relationship. You know, so I can help you to put it back on track. All right, because I know that you're probably very scared and don't really have the strength to walk away because you're 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 feeling like you're going to lose. Yeah. I know what this feels like when you're married, especially if you haven't been married for a long time. You don't want to look like a quitter. But you don't know what to do. You're panicking. Like, well, how do I change this person? I don't I don't know how to fix them. You know, it gets very scary what, what spirit would require of you. But I'm going to say that this is yours and this is not, you know, you don't have to worry about if I back off of the situation, am I going to lose them forever? No, you're not. Because this is yours. It's yours. It's just that when we're put in people's lives, we're put in people's lives to help change them, to help them to see their issues that they have within themselves so what happens is once you get scared if you get scared to enforce what you're feeling all right so you're with a person and they got this real bad issue of cheating and infidelity you can't take infidelity it drives you crazy so you want to cuss this person out and say, listen, I'm not dealing with your shit and you want to walk away because that's what you've done in your previous relationships. Well, when you get with this person, you're married now. So now you feel like, oh my God, I can't do it like that. That never worked for me before. Well, let me tell you something and listen very closely, Scorpio. God, spirit, source put you in this situation because you were good at walking away from things that hurt you. Okay, so it's not meant for you to change that part of yourself. You change that part of yourself, guess what? You lose the relationship because you can't fix it. They don't need you to to play fixer upper. You know, they don't they don't need you to keep your mouth shut. That's what the last few girls that they've been with or a few men that they've been with did, and that's why they don't have them as the husband or wife. You have this husband or wife because what you have inside of you, who you are, who you've been up until this point, works. Okay? More about that. Hit me up. All seeing at gmail.com. Book your spiritual analysis so you can understand you, your position. You can understand what you're supposed to do and how you work that thing, you know, and, and really find the best fulfillment that you can find in your life. All seeing at gmail.com. Okay, Scorpio. I love you much. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. Like I said, you want a personal reading, all seeing at tarot at gmail.com. The pricing is in the description right up under this video. Um, and don't forget to share the video across all your social media, as well as comment why you feel you deserve that one hour free reading. I love you much. Until next time.